Um, I also wanted to ask you how you met um, and worked with D12 and what was that experience like? Well, um, I, I came up with, I met Proof, Proof in what, 91, 92. Um, one of my friends from Highland Park would start working with him. He got a whiff of my, my friend passing away. So uh, Proof kind of kind of grabbed to me and said, man, your, your rap buddy died at 15. And said, man, I, I want to be here for you. Let's work. So when, wow. once once Proof started, you know, making his rounds and to the hip hop community, that was kind of there every step of the way. Mm-hmm. And then when he got with Eminem and D12, I was already kind of seeing Eminem in the, in the streets trying to sell his music. Right. And, you know, he, he would pull up at the record stores and he have all his clothes in the car. Like somebody kicked him out of his house, you wow. know. And and here we are, we going into the record store, learn about consignments, mm-hmm. you know, shelf space, and, and putting your, your CDs and tapes on the shelf, and the correct spots to do it, and learn the etiquette to talk to the you know managers of the store. And, and I used to run into them a lot like that, and um, okay. You know, once they got in, in, into the industry, things start changing. I, you know, the it seemed like the, the content started changing, you know, it was the control factor of each other started changing. And, you know, it was, that's one thing I didn't I didn't like. Um, and I, when I told 50 Cent, I said, yo, we're, we're proof friends. You know, this is what we wanted for proof. It's, right. you know, it's like, but I think um, in those times, you know, it's, it's just like we... we we had each other sold too much to where we didn't really empower each other properly. You know, it was like, um, it was a lot of soul games with that, that, that whole, that's why a lot of those guys, you know, kind of passed away. People got discouraged and, you know, one of my friends that were, were there witnessing proof get killed. Um, he'd be pulling up in a minute and just to see what they're going through is, it's a lot. You know, and I, I try to be some aid because I don't grew up, you know, watching my mother break down mental institutions, things like that. And, mm. you know, and I'm been shot at, pistol whipped, all that stuff, you know. So I'm able to be here to talk about it and I'm, you know, and be creative and I'm, you know, just to see what these guys are going through and it's no reimbursement. Yeah. It's no, you know, the record labels promising my friends money, you know, from, for mental evaluation, shady records don't come through for them. A lot of little stuff, you know, and, I, and I, it's just, and it's, it's all like one big, it's like we, we've been stepped on, you know, to get, to, you know, Eminem made a song called Stepping Stones. And then, you know, I talked to him about three years ago after not seeing him for so long. And, right. But to, to hear that song, it was like, this is what I've been feeling for so long. Like, yeah, you know, don't come around me blowing your cigar on my face. I, I can't laugh at every joke. Yeah. I don't know what kind of rituals coming out that cigar. Right. Keep that over there. And, you know, and I recognize that early. That's why I was able to do so much. Yeah. You know, it is. It's, these movies are, are made off my friend's back and the, 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 the confidence and all that is made on my friends back and I, I gotta see them like you know everything is okay because they done sign some clause that say they can't talk to their dead and things like that right yeah you it's, know, it's, and you know maybe I'm talking too much <laughs> but oh, I mean that's what we're here for dude I yeah. talk about it cause. But, you know I just I'm not with that I, I'm just I you know it's just it's it's been a race I don't I don't feel like I have to pop a pill to sell no music. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. And all the stuff we going through, I don't need to be lubricated. I need to Not at see all. what's going on. And that's yeah. the thing. I think for so long in our culture, you know, because even me growing up, you know, I seen drinking when we were happy, drinking when we were sad, you know, and when you become an adult, you all you know is from with your childhood and a lot of times and you still use those things until you learn better and i think that that's one tool that we utilize in the wrong way right 
and don't know the difference between a celebration as it refers to the same party favors being there. Right. Those same party favors are there at a funeral and they're there at the birthday party. So right. then you're confused about what those tools are for. You think that you're supposed to do that when you're happy and sad and you realize that when right. you do use any sort of drug or use anything to replace feeling your real emotions, you're actually becoming an addict or putting forth an effort to replace something with that. And it's right. just never a good look when you're when you're doing that. Right. right. It doesn't work out that way. Right. But um, I think uh, that sets us up nicely to go to the grill. Let's take it to the grill, y'all. Let's blur some stuff up, man. Being DJ 